What does it feel like to be a hundred? Feel uh, being uh, happy with good people. He was born when we entered World War One. And he's been through all the events since the Depression, World War II, Korea, Vietnam. Right? Right. He's lived through everything. So, uh, very incredible. Peter was looking forward to this day for the past year and a half. We're so happy for him. Oh, he looks great. Yeah, he does. I've known him almost 50, 60 years. He's a great guy. His family says the 100-year-old is in really good health. Other than his hearing being a little impaired, he's doing very well. The fact that I still have him, and, uh, and you know, he's not lim limited to any great extent. I see him every morning and I see him every night. He's always in the front of the building. Being surrounded by such a loving family over the years has really helped Peter and his 13-year-old great-great-granddaughter is one of them. I like going down with them whenever they go and visit him every Saturday. He's always so happy around everyone. He makes a lot of friends. I'd like to be social like him at that age. And to what does he attribute his father's longevity? He hasn't had a drink since 1974. He never smoked and he was always very, very good health, working out, active. Getting the chance to be close with the centenarian throughout her young life means a lot. I'm just happy that he's around right now, and uh, I love him a lot. Well, there be a result of Brian P. Stack, mayor of the city of Union City, and the Union City Board of Commissioners, do her by honor, Peter Marquezani, happy birthday, sir. What an honor to reach such a milestone. And where does he go from here? I want to live another 500. In Weehawken, Jillian Risberg, Hudson TV.